Dairy Queen has their blizzards ready to go for their upcoming 17th annual Miracle Treat Day. It's a chance for customers to purchase a cool snack that also benefits the children at McMaster Hospital in Hamilton. This is our 17th annual Miracle Treat Day. And on Miracle Treat Day, if any DQ fan comes in and purchases a blizzard, every dollar and every proceed from that blizzard sale is going to go to help support your Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Do you see an increased traffic on Miracle Treat Day? Oh yes, Miracle Treat Day is one of our one of our busiest days and it's one of the funnest days in the DQ system for in the summer, so it's a great day. And how does staff prepare for it? Oh, so while staff gets super excited, there's uh, we always most stores or all stores are always participating with balloons, uh, other sales, other events go on. It's quite the celebration day for us at Dairy Queen. Aaron, tell me how important it is for McMaster Children's Hospital to be part of the Miracle Children's Network. Oh, it is very important for McMaster Children's Hospital to be a, a member of Children's Miracle Network. Uh, Children's Miracle Network does such an amazing job raising funds to support patient care at McMaster Children's Hospital. And uh, Dairy Queen is certainly a big part of uh, the fundraising that goes towards helping to ensure the best patient experience possible. And what does the money actually be used for each year after the fundraising is done? After fundraising is done each year, uh, funds raised go towards highest priority needs, which tends to be a lot of uh, medical equipment, which actually does not receive funding uh, from the hospital, which is one uh, very important reason why we value uh, the support of donors and corporate partners like Dairy Queen so much. Ethan, tell me about your experience at McMaster Children's Hospital. My story first began when I was six years old. I went to my local doctor and he referred me to McMaster Children's Hospital. After some tests, they found that I had Crohn's disease and I've now had approximately 50 infusions at McMaster Children's Hospital and sometimes I forget that I even have Crohn's disease and it's just an amazing feeling knowing that I can be a normal kid and play sports and do all these activities. All the staff, all the nurses, the doctors who work there are nothing but welcoming and open arms when you're not feeling well and they're all just very nice to me and all the, all, all the other kids and it's just amazing to be there. What does it mean to you to know that the monies here are directly helping you and your fellow patients at McMaster? It means so much to me that the community comes in, donates money to the hospital and just helps every single kid there is in the hospital. And just, it really helps me, it helps everyone else and it just makes everyone happier and better. Okay, so the big question of the morning is, what is your favorite blizzard treat? My favorite blizzard treat, that's a tough one, but I'll have to say, the cookie dough blizzard. Well, this is actually our 17th Miracle Treat Day, but Dairy Queen's uh, had our partnership with Children's Miracle Network since 1984, and we've raised over $145 million since the partnership began. So it's quite a feat that we're, and something that Dairy Queen's very proud of. Miracle Treat Day is Thursday, August the 8th. You can join me here at the Portage Road location in Niagara Falls or at any of the Dairy Queen locations across the region. Reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.